Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the in-depth camera review of Lenovo Vibe S1. So this is the most anticipated phone model that is launched in India with the dual selfie cameras. It is selling for the price tag of 16,000 rupees and it is only available at Amazon.in. It has a 13 megapixel primary camera with dual tone LED flash along with a dual camera setup in the front. The main camera in the front is a 8 megapixel sensor and it is supported by a secondary 2 megapixel sensor which detects the depth of the field. Let's open the camera app and see the camera interface and uh, shutter speed. So the camera interface is pretty much similar to the one which we saw before in P1M. It has auto mode and panorama mode. So no other options were available on this option. And uh, let's dive into the camera settings. So moving into the camera settings, it has uh, aspect ratio, which is defaultly set to 4 to 3 ratio. And you want to change it to 16 to 9. The photo quality is set to in fine. I will change it to hyper fine for better quality. And the phone resolution is set to normal. Just change it to maximum. You have other options such as sleep mode, white balance, ISO and uh, guideline options. So just pay around with it for uh, getting maximum advantage of this camera. You have timer option in sleep mode and you can use that to take timer shots. There are other effects are also available in white balance. You can check with that for daylight and other conditions. It also has triaxial level so by default it's switched off so I'm turning it on and I'm also turning the grid size in 4 to 4. So this is the triaxial level and uh, the grid size 4 grid sides. So the, you can use this option to take some stable shots. Moving on to the video settings you will be having an option of recording in full HD mode and other some basic options such as setting the volume button for taking snaps and uh, location info snap sound so other options such as these were available you just play around with this app to get maximum out of your uh, lenovo vibe base one so these were the shots that i have taken in uh, indoor conditions with artificial lighting and uh, i have just turned off the artificial light only with flash i am taking the shot so let's check the camera performance in indoor set without any light. So the image came out to be really well. I'm impressed with this camera performance in night condition. So these were options that are available in front facing camera settings. So there are too many options for the front facing camera because this front facing camera is having an 8 megapixel camera that is supported with a 2 megapixel camera for depth of field. There are plenty much of options that are available for adjusting the exposure, turning on the brightness level, white balance level. Too many options were available for the front facing camera alone and didn't find these options were available in the rear facing camera. So this is one extra option that is available in this mobile. After turning the selfie camera mode on, you will be able to see this one particular option where the blurness of the screen can be turned off and on depending upon the objects in foreground and background. So after taking shot with this particular option, you will be having two options of uh, choose from. One is blurness and other one is cutoff. So after using the cutoff, it will automatically detect that particular object in the image and it will cut off the particular object from that particular piece of image. So we can use that particular image to wherever we want with some different background images. There are quite a few popular images for the backgrounds are already available and you can play around with it and uh, you can get maximum out of these options. So as of now, I'm just closing it and I will see the second option that is the blurness. So after selecting the blurness, uh, the image which we have taken now uh, will be displayed where you can able to check between the foreground and the background to check the blurness of the image. And you can also save that particular uh, point where you want the blurness. 
so apart from this uh, extra options i've expected a little more from this uh, camera performance and camera options so let's check the front camera performance the image looks more natural and the color on the image looks bit on the natural side i would say the screen performance is also really good the color contrast and exposure seems very good and the screen is uh, really good but uh, it is a little bit on the reflective side i have taken too many shots with this camera so check the camera performance to check that out so these were the images that i have taken in the outdoor conditions and the color accuracy is on bit on the duller side i would say but uh, the depth of the image and the fill is really good you can use the hdr options to get most of of the camera the focusing is a bit on the above average side i would say the night images also performance is really good the camera performance really good in low light conditions and with only with flash so all these images were taken with the rear camera and these were the images that i have taken with the front facing camera as you can see the sharpness on the image is really good the depth of the image feels really bright even the exposure are also really good in low light conditions so make sure that you are taking some shots in good lighting conditions or else you will find some noise appearing on the image This part of video has been recorded with the rear facing camera of Lenovo Vibe S1. I am just shooting it with the full HD mode. Let me touch. So it has touch to focus and the color accuracy is great. Let me pan around. So it takes bit of time to focus. So let me touch on the screen. So what? hello friends, this part of video has been recorded with the rear facing camera of Lenovo Y Base One. So the video is very out. shaky, and Lenovo could have included object image stabilization at least for this mobile, which could have added up to the pros in this mobile. I already checked the front facing camera also. Hello friends, this part of video has been recorded with the front facing camera of uh, Lenovo Y Base One. As you can see, I'm directly facing towards the sunlight, so that's why it's uh, very bright. So let me walk into the dock. So I'm just walking into the shadow. As you can see, the quality and the color exposures are changing accordingly. So overall, in in-depth camera review of our test, the phone performance is really great, and I'm expected a bit more value for the camera in this price bracket. But uh, Lenovo does a decent job. It has a high depth of field, and the color accuracy was great with this performance mobile. If you want me to do any other videos of this mobile, do let me know in the comment section below. Or if you want to see any other videos of this particular model, do check our other videos also. You can ask any other questions regarding online shopping and tricks and tips in our Facebook page. Also, do check the description below. If you like this video, hit like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. This is Tham signing off. Hope to see you in my next video.